What's going on, collective? It's Kev from Two the Kev, and I am back to do another reading for the collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, well. I'm just gonna get into the cards, see what you know, spirit. You know, what insight and guidance spirit has for us. You know, through our current situations, um, anything we might not see coming. Um, you know, the usual. Let's get into it. The Nine of Cups in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. The Empress. The Eight of Swords in reverse. Ace of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords. And the Hangman. So the Nine of Cups, you know, talks about being satisfied, being fulfilled, um, having everything you need, you know, um, just being, you know, content and satisfied, satisfaction. Um, in reverse, it talks about being unfulfilled, unsatisfied. Um, that is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Chariot in reverse. Okay, so somebody definitely is fit, is unsatisfied with maybe an offer they made somebody. Page of Cups could be like a love offer, or um, if it's a message, it'll be like a message of, you know, an expression of love, sentiment. Um, yeah, somebody's, you know, unsatisfied with, um, I think this is like an, an offer they made in love. Um which had them at the Five of Pentacles. You know, Five of Pentacles talks about, uh, you know, it could talk about poverty, it could talk about having less than, it could talk about uh, being left out in the cold, um, struggling. Um, the Chariot in reverse talks about the, you know, they're not being forward movement, being unable to move forward. So somebody was in a situation that, you know, kind of had them stuck, you know, had them at stagnant, you know, there was no progress. Um, the hair font in reverse is clarified by Four of Cups, the King or the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there was something that didn't work out. This person ended up, you know, feeling rejected from something or someone. Um. You know, the Knight of Pentacles, you know, this is a slow moving energy. You know, he comes in to make an offer, but he's very slow, very strategic. You know, he's uh, has taken his time to formulate some type of plan, some type of, you know, you know, um, yeah, whatever, however this person is coming in, like they've thought long and hard about it. Um, the King of Pentacles in reverse, you know, this guy is like, he could be arrogant. Um, he could be materialistic. He could be, you know, only concerned about the material things, money. Um, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. You know, Ten of Pentacles is a windfall of money, um, financial freedom, uh, generational wealth, abundance, opportunities, success. Um, that's clarified by the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Seven of Swords, oh uh, yeah, Seven of Swords and uh, Two of Swords in reverse. So yeah, I feel like somebody was, you know, unsatisfied in whatever situation they were in. 
they're coming out of that energy and they're focused on this ten of pentacles there's you know that financial freedom that you know uh generational wealth that abundance they are focused on you know this person's knight of pentacles king of pentacles both reverse but of course they're you know they're concerned about this ten of pentacles because i mean <laughs> that's their house knight, king of pentacles knight of pentacles um there was a situation that they walked away from in the past and i feel like they want to revisit it but they have to do this discreetly you know seven of swords talks about uh doing something discreetly you know being sneaky you know doing something you know in the dark and hoping you know it does not get revealed you know um yeah this person's made a decision this is the decision that they they're uh two of swords talks about being at a crossroads or being indecisive and reverse this person's made a decision they're no longer you know indecisive um and i feel like you know this ten of pentacles that they are focused on is somehow related to this empress which is why they have you know made a decision they're firm on that and they're you know discreetly you know secretly or sneakily you know headed towards this empress um the empress uh the empress is like a, a nurturing energy you know this person is very fruitful you know whatever this person invests their time and their energy in or put their focus in it grows you know it um they multiply you know they are successful they have they're ambitious and uh they have success you know their their efforts are very fruitful um that's clarified by the two of wands in reverse the magician in reverse and the king of wands in reverse This person, I feel like this energy has made a, a choice. They've made a decision to move towards this empress. But um, there's manipulation. There's manipulation in, the, in this situation. You know, the two of wands talks about, you know, looking forward to the future. Um, you know, being ambitious or, you know, your perception of, you know, making a choice. Um, it's in reverse. And then with the magician in reverse, you know, that's like, it could be, <laughs> I always say a spell work because that's just what it feels like for me. But it's some type of manipulation, which that's what spell work is. It's some type of manipulation. You know, energy manipulation could be mental manipulation. Um, this person's reverse is this King of Wands is the energy that wants the Ten of Pentacles with this Empress. But this person is low vibrational. They're coming in very negative and they're manipulating. They're using manipulation. Could be spell work. I feel like it might be spell work. This person's conniving. This person is very conniving. I feel that. Like the King of Wands, you know, he's passionate, he's ambitious, he's driven, all of those good things. In reverse, you know, this person, he might be promiscuous. He might be very loose or, you know, sexually. Um, this person's a ha happiness hater. You know, like a, a hater. You know, they're passionately, you know, the wand, wands are ruled by passionate or by passion. But, you know, the king of wands in reverse. It's just all the negative attributes that come with, you know, this person's easy to anger or, you know, impulsive. Um... But they're being very manipulative, uh, manipulative. This person's very materialistic though. But in reverse everywhere. Knight of Pentacles reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse, Magician reverse. This is just, uh, somebody's got bad intentions. Somebody has bad intentions. Um, it's a masculine energy, male or female, it's a masculine energy. And they're coming, they're coming towards the Empress in the upright, you know what I'm saying? So this is just, use your discernment, please, collective, use your discernment. Uh, the Eight of Swords in reverse. This person is, 
I think they were bound to something. You know, there was something that um, that maybe they committed to in the past, and it had them bound. They're coming out of that energy. Uh, Eight of Swords is clarified by death or rebirth. Three of Wands and Eight of Wands. So this was all, maybe, uh, yeah, this was definitely like, I feel like this is like recent past. You know, this person was concerned about, you know, really focus on his Ten of Pentacles. And maybe they ended up walking away from a situation. You know, well, whatever situation they left, they left quietly. They left sneakily. They kind of like ran away, it feels like. Um, yeah. But there was like, you know, this person clearly made the wrong choice. There was manipulation, or there still is manipulation. Um, but, you know, I feel that the energy that this person could have been, I don't know. It almost feels like this person could have been manipulated as well. But um, whatever situation this was, it all led to, a, you know, the death, uh, death or rebirth, which is a permanent ending or transformation. Um, you know, this person, uh, somebody went through a, a transformation. It was a permanent ending for someone. And now they're, they're ready, you know, they're waiting for their ships to come in. Um, Eight of Wands talks about quick communication. You know, something coming in quick. Somebody expressing something very fast. Um, something to do with a, a passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands talks about a passionate new beginning. Um, Ace of Wands is clarified by the Five of Swords in reverse, the Star in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like this permanent ending was um this Queen of Pentacles energy. You know, she's uh she could be materialistic too, you know, very uh, you know, concerned with money and material things. Um she didn't get what she wanted. This King of Pentacles, King of Wands energy, them having a passionate new beginning was the op you know it was it was not wish fulfillment for this queen of pentacles like it was her her least desired outcome it's not that's the opposite of what she wanted um she was denied something too ace of pentacles in reverse you know ace of pentacles talks about an offer or something coming in that is you know it's like success it's abundance it's you know uh um opportunities and you know prosperity um, it's room reverse. So I feel like this Queen of Pentacles energy was denied some type of offer or something that she wanted. Um, that's clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, the masculine energy here, he's, you know, the masculine energy here denied this, this Queen of Pentacles that ace of pentacles maybe she wanted some type of commitment from him and he did not he denied her um this person is also a king of cups energy they're self-sufficient whoever this king of cups energy is you know this person is it's, it could be male or female but it's a masculine energy this person is coming out of a situation where they were extremely burdened um they had a lot of obligations there was a lot of stress probably conflict too and um they're fine. Like they're at the nine of pentacles, self-sufficient, you know, just focus on their work, focus on their, focus on their money. Um, yeah, that person's coming out of confusion. Seven of Cups can talk about having options um, in reverse. It talks about, you know, uh, or, or it can talk about illusions, delusions, confusion. In reverse, it talks about either a lack of options or coming out of confusion. Um, this person's coming out of confusion. They're coming out of that, that mindset as well. And Knight of Cups, Two of Cups in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person has come out of confusion about, you know, a falsely offer. You know, Knight of Cups is, you know, he comes in fast, but he wants to make like an offer of love. 
And whatever offer that this was, it was a bad offer. It led to the Two of Cups reverse, which is a, a bad partnership, a bad union. And this person was at the Three of Swords. They're coming out of that energy well, as well. But the Three of Swords talks about heartbreak, you know, deep emotional pain. This, you know, it caused this, this masculine energy, you know, some, some pain. You know, it was hurtful to him too, whatever the situation was. And now he's at a point where he just wants to move to calmer waters. He wants to move from rough waters to calmer waters, Six of Swords. Um, that is clarified by the tower, the world, and Six of Pentacles. He's closing a cycle. This masculine energy is closing a cycle. He's moving to calmer waters. He had a tower moment, a tower moment about something, and just like that, just that quick, after that tower moment, boom, cycle closed, completion. Um, yeah, and he's going towards reciprocity. This person wants Six of Pentacles. You know, or maybe he wants to be given something. Maybe he wants, you know, to give somebody something. But typically this card talks about, you know, equal give and take. Uh, the hangman. This is somebody, you know, uh, the hangman can also talk about surrendering, you know, just like letting go. And I feel that that's what the, the feeling is here. You know, this person let go, they surrendered. To a situation and probably gain some type of enlightenment you know you see that the, the, the woman has the halo like she's woke up um yeah maybe he surrendered to a connection he had with somebody else this king of swords or queen of swords energy it could be male or female but the queen of swords she is you know uh she's honest she's stand up she's very direct she could be seen as curt or you know a bitch um but she, uh, she's emotionally detached, typically. You know, she doesn't make, decision, uh, make decisions based on emotion. She thinks about things logically, rationally. Um, yeah, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah. This energy, like they've surrendered to um, whatever situation this was, you know, they just, they let go. They let go of something that probably needed to be let go of because they ended a cycle. Um, but this, this Queen of Wands in reverse, she's been heavy in the readings. You know, the Queen of Wands in reverse is, you know, it's a passionate woman, but it's like the negative attribute. So she might be promiscuous. She could be a slut, a whore, very lustful, very sexual. Um you know, jealous, uh, impulsive, yeah. And whatever she did, you know, it had her at the, 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 the Ten of Swords too, also just completely defeated, down, done. Yeah. It was a, a situation with the emperor in reverse, which all these kings here, all four of the kings are here. So of course it was an emperor. Um, yeah, lies came out. There were certain lies uh, around this, there were lies told around this situation, this connection, or maybe on this empress. You know, they always lie on the empress. But, um, you know, if that's your energy, you know, somebody, there were a lot of, you were involved in a situation where there was somebody you were dealing with, and maybe it was on or off, but he was dealing with other people. And whatever situation he was in, he wasn't even aware of, you know, the full situation. There were lies that were told, but this is in reverse. Those lies are coming out. They've been revealed. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles in reverse. You know, this talks about a collaboration that was not a good one. You know, it was, you know, uh, you know, multiple people, could have been two, could have been three, you know, but there's, this is people coming together um, to work towards a common goal. You know, there was something that he invested in that didn't work out. Yeah, he put a lot of hard work into it too. Like he invested, yeah. Yeah, there was infidelity. Somebody's going through bad karma. Um. Yeah, but there's a cycle that's ended. There's definitely a cycle that's closed. And um, 
Yeah, some lies came out. There were some lies that came out. And I feel like they're like big lies. Like this was like, you know, a lot like, you know, you saying you somebody's daddy and you're not their daddy. Not that that's the case here, but that's like the, the magnitude of the lie. Like, you know, um, man, I don't know. I can say if you're an empress energy, you're in the upright, keep doing what you've been doing. Keep on doing what you've been doing. Um, if you're this masculine energy, good job, kudos to you, because you just closed the cycle, which I feel was a karmic cycle. Um, if you're this karmic, you know, this queen of wands in reverse, um, it gets better, sweetie. You know, it's not over for you. Like, it doesn't have to be over for you. You know, God is a... Uh, God is an amazing God, you know what I'm saying? Just like a lot of people just come from the wrong place and you know, um, you know when you do bad stuff, then you have, you know, you get bad consequences. So, um, there's definitely somebody experiencing karma. There's multiple people experiencing. I think both of those energies, that masculine and the karmic, they're both experiencing karma right now. But you know that Ace of Wands is in uh, the upright. I don't know. There could be a passionate new beginning for somebody in this equation. You know, uh, probably you know whoever the Empress and whoever's tied to her for sure, um, or him. But yeah, I'm gonna get into this mess deck real quick. Yeah, you just gotta be like. Stay on your toes. Because like I said, one thing I don't like is like all of this. Whenever I see the magician in reverse, like I said, the magician, you know, this is somebody who does magic, technically. But you know, in reverse, it just talks about the negative stuff, the negative attributes, you know, uh, spell work and magic and the occult and just dark negative energy, you know, manipulation. And, um... Like I said, it could even be this masculine. This masculine could be, you know, the one manipulating something, you know. Um, don't put it, and that's the thing. A lot of people think that, you know, men just could only women do spells and do spell work. No, men do it too. Stay woke. <laughs> men do it too. Um, but yeah, okay. Pay attention to the signs. Like I said, these people, you know, all this manipulation, people love to play mind games, like we're children. I just don't understand. Laying on their, oh, lying on their dick or ass, claiming they've had you sexually when they haven't. Somebody could be lying on you, lying on their dick or ass, talking about they've had you sexually and they have not. Um, the truth is or will be revealed, the in, your enemies will be exposed, your name and reputation will be restored, vindication. Like I said, you know, this person was probably, with the manipulation being there, you know, um, it could have been, you know, lying on you, manipulating other people. Um, somebody's big mad. You know, they're upset, probably because you're moving forward. Winter could be significant, the holiday season, Christmas, New Year's, that could be uh, significant for someone. Um, the root chakra could be significant. Um, somebody was a fraud, you know, they were just genuine, you know, they were not being real Yeah, this was definitely a third-party situation You know, somebody had an empress in a third-party situation Yeah, they had a boyfriend or girlfriend on the side Yeah, if there was some type of manipulation You know, or some type of magic being done and you were protected you had divine protection you're highly I you're highly protected. Like, whoever, male or female, whoever is in the Empress energy, you're highly protected. Um, yeah, somebody secretly loves you. Could be this masculine, or you know what? It could be this other karmic. You know, a lot of people do stuff out of jealousy and, you know, envy, but a lot of that stems from love. These people might secretly love you, but they're obsessed. <laughs> obsessed. Yeah, slanderer, talking trash. Somebody could have been lying on you, you know? But that's about to be revealed. They're about to be exposed, if they haven't already. Yeah, this was a soulmate connection. 
Yeah, there was a soul soulmate connection somewhere. Um, with this empress and this masculine energy. Divination abuse. That talks about spell work, magic. Like I said, ma magician in reverse. Spell work, magic. I strongly feel like this masculine could be doing some form of divination. I said, don't put it past men. Women aren't the only ones that do spells and play with that stuff. Men do it too. Warlocks. Uh, manifest with intention. If you're manifesting, make sure you do it with intention. You know, um, somebody's mother could be involved. Someone is watching you very closely. This has been heavy. This keeps coming out. Somebody's watching. If they're obsessed, then of course they're watching. Um, I guess. Somebody here is an actual friend. Um, I have this friend and foe. It came out this way. Uh, you have a friend. It's somebody. Probably this masculine energy. Um... Spiritual hater. Somebody was a spiritual hater. Maybe you've, you know, recently become spiritual or you've had, you know, some type of awakening or you've just gotten in touch with that side of yourself. You know, people who don't understand, they, you know, are more likely to hate it or, you know, hate on you because you found something that, you know, that resonates with you. Um, it's sad, really. Uh, adjudication. Something could be in court. Um, that might be significant. An Aquarius could be significant. You might be an Aquarius. Use your discernment. Like I say, if people are playing games, they're playing mind games. Lies have been told. You know, use your discernment. Use your better judgment. Earth Angel. That's you. I'm talking to you. Use your discernment, Earth Angel. <laughs> He's talking to you. Soulmate connection. This is the second. This, like I said, this was a this a soulmate connection. Now. People don't, you know, people get that like twisted. That doesn't mean that like you have to be or you're supposed to be with that person because you have several soulmates. There's not just like you get one soulmate and that's it. You can have several soulmates throughout your lifetime. From my understanding, you know, twin flame type of connection is a little bit more intense and a little bit more uh, stronger because they technically they share like the same soul. But uh, you have several soulmates. You have a divine soulmate. You can have karmic soulmates. It's a uh, it's a slippery slope. So you <laughs> you gotta use your better judgment. Somebody's in denial about something. You know, um, if you've reconnected with this masculine, you might be in denial about the fact that you know he's doing some type of manipulation. And I say, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But that's just what just hit me. You know, somebody's in denial, and I feel like they're in denial about maybe the fact that this this uh, if masculine energy has been manipulating them, you know, or might partake in spell work, candle magic, some type of, you know, yeah, this person could be lying on you. Whew. Person could be faking. Somebody could be facing legal issues. Um. Yeah, somebody's crazy. Could have been trying to make you crazy or make you appear crazy by lying on you. Yeah, somebody's crying in despair. They're facing karma. Like I say, the, the truths have come out and whoever this is, they're facing karma. I'm going to do some uh, angels of abundance or let me do one. Well, no, let's do a different one. Keep calm and trust God. I haven't done that one in like a little while. So, keep calm and trusting. I'm telling you, when you have faith, when you have like, uh, you know, genuine faith, like that is something that like, it is unmatched by anything else, any other feeling, you know, or I don't know, for me, it's like, you know, when I think about, you know, the, the, the mercy and the, the strength and the power of God and how he's, you know, worked in my life in certain situations. Cause I just got, I just got spiritual. Like I just woke up a few months ago, but um, it's a, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like I feel like I wasted so much time, so many years of my life, not being spiritual and not having that faith, you know, not finding it sooner. But um, yeah, okay. 
We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. Martin Luther King Jr. We must accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope. From that, I get like, you know, you, sometimes, you know, things are going to happen. You're going to be disappointed. You know, things are not going to go in your favor, but never lose hope. You can accept disappointment, but do not ex ex accept, you know, the loss of hope. We can be tired, weary, and emotionally distraught, but after spending time alone with God, we find that he injects into our bodies energy, power, and strength. That's like what I was just saying. The power of God. When I think about what he's done for me, huh, baby, it's, I mean, it is a form of energy. I definitely get that. That's a quote from Charles Stanley, by the way. Um, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. All right, I'm going to do one more of these. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Wherever you go. It's beautiful. I haven't done these. I'm going to do like three cards out of here. Because I do like the Oracle decks too. And then we go close it up. Yeah, but just, you know, I always say, use your discernment, use your intuition. A lot of these situations are like recurring things. You know, people circle back, they double back, and they want to see, you know, if you're as dumb as you were the first time. <laughs> if you're as stupid as you were the first time. You know what I'm saying? So, pay attention to them signs. I mean, it's easier said than done. A lot of people, you know, these people are slick, they're cunning. You know, you might love them. So, you got to be, it's easier said than done, I know. Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. Medicine Garden, or Guardian, I'm sorry. Guardian, <laughs> be open to healing information. You know, if you hear about something that you know somebody, you know, I uh, I have a friend that's been going to like actual therapy, you know, and talking to like a counselor. And um, I know a lot of people who have gone and it's like, you know, been really beneficial for them. You know, so it's something I've been thinking about, you know, I'm definitely open. Yeah, be open to healing information. You know, anything can help you. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. It's very important. Stay rooted, stay grounded. You know, there are a lot of things that come in, a lot of people, a lot of energy, a lot of things that happen that come in and they try to, you know, knock you, knock you down, knock you off your footing, you know, leave you unstable. And it's important to just stay grounded. You know, you have to see things for what they are. Snake, shed old skin. You know, out with the old and with the new, you know, um, certain situations have made you stronger. You know, they may have hurt you when it was happening, but they made you stronger. You know, you had to share that old skin, that weak skin wasn't cutting it. Now you, you know, you got your, you, you, uh, your new skin, your strong skin now. Traveler, move in a new direction. I'm the first to say I, I'm, I'm an advocate for moving in a new direction. You know, when you have opportunities, you know, assess the situation. And if it's a better opportunity for you, don't be scared to travel. Do not be scared to move in a, a different direction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the reading here. As always, um, I want to send you as much love and light as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm up to like 33 subscribers now. And, um, you know, this is something I'm passionate about. And uh, I was guided to it. So, um, yeah, all glory to God, you know, all thanks and praises to God, the most high and God bless you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps. And, uh, as always, I'm Kev, intuitive Kev, and I'll see you guys later.